I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this video is to introduce the uh, SDR functionality built into the ARIS Radio Pi. So we have our uh, we have our Pi running with the uh, with the ARIS Radio Pi software here. You can see see the desktop. We have our RTL SDR radio dongle plugged in, and I have an antenna connected to that, um, which is. Uh, uh, which is going to receive the signals. So um, for, 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 for learning the basics, um, I highly recommend using the web SDR. It's very easy to use. It's easy to switch bands and tune around. Um, but as you get more advanced, um, you can switch to the regular SDR here. But also, there's one thing that we can't do on the web SDR, and that is listen to FM broadcast radio. So that's why it says here SDR FM broadcast. So let's double click on it uh, to, to run it. And uh, as it comes up here, first thing it's gonna do is we need to select um, which SDR device. And uh, there's only one here. And uh, you, you see it's got generic RTL. So that's the RTL SDR. So we have to click on that. And then we just say start. And uh, so now we are running. Uh, it defaults to the FM band, which is which is nice. Um, also, FM broadcast signals are extremely strong. So, in some cases, even without an antenna uh, or way deep inside a building uh, or your house, <laughs> you'll probably still still receive the signals. Uh, so, here's a couple of very very strong signals we can see there. Um, one thing it does, uh, I do need to set. Where's my audio here? Okay. So in order to tune on one of these signals, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click on it. And so now it's playing. Now we don't actually hear anything. Um, uh, uh, Cubic SDR has a manual setting here for where the audio goes. And right now my speaker is connected to headphones and not HDMI. Um, so you may, need to, you may need to adjust this. But if I switch to headphones, which is where my speaker is, um, now we can hear it. So this happens to be a, uh, a classical music station. And, um, and again, we have the waterfall view here. In addition, we have this real-time view of the, of the amplitude of the signals there. The piano trio in E-flat, the piano played by Jean-Philippe Collard. So we can, uh, we can select other signals here. So I'm moving around the waterfall. And I can collect, uh, select that signal there. That's quite a strong signal. Um, I can also do a little bit of tuning here in this. Uh, you notice that I tuned off it there, and now it's starting to be distorted. So I'm going to drag it, and now it's um, centered. I'm going to pick a very weak signal here. Let's see see what that sounds like. Okay. All right, so I am, uh, I'm going to just, um, so if I tune here, um, where there's no signal, then we uh, then we just hear noise. So there is uh, that's another NPR station. It's weak, but uh, you can definitely definitely hear it. So there's all kinds of different settings um, that you can play with, and as you learn more about uh, about an SDR, um, then you can uh, I can just mute it here. I think. Yep. Uh, you can learn about these settings and you can play with them uh, and uh, adjust things, um, including recording. So one thing I'll, I'll show you is how to how to tune around, and um, it's not quite as easy as the as the web SDR, but we can go in here, and um, and we can basically uh, adjust the the frequencies here. So I don't know if you can see that it's uh, the little digit goes pink. When I'm a, above it, and it goes uh, light blue when I'm below it. So if I go above it here and click, that just jumped from 99 megahertz to 199 megahertz. Click again, 299, 399. Okay, so now I'm at 489 megahertz. 
I'm heading towards 434.9 because I happen to have a CubeSat simulator transmitting. And uh, there you can see it uh, in the signal there. So, uh, so I'm going to click on it now. And uh, we are tuned in. Um, so the, just like on the web SDR, there are buttons here for the different demodulation modes. And we were on um, FM, which is basically wideband, uh, wideband FM for commercial FM. In order to listen to this transmission from the CubeSat SIM, I want to set it to uh, narrowband FM, NB FM. There we go. And now I will unmute it. Okay, so we have that signal there. So I'm a little bit off in my tuning. I don't know if you can see the signal's kind of centered over there. So I'm going to click and drag. There, that sounds better. So now I think I'm pretty much centered. Oh no, I can get a little bit better still. That looks good. So this is a very particular type of transmission. Uh, some of you might be familiar with it. This is the sound of um, slow scan TV or SSTV. Um, and that was, the, that was it just ending there. It will start up again uh, in a minute. And uh, this is the type of this, when you run it through appropriate software, it, it'll decode it and uh, display it as, a, as an image, uh, just a low resolution um, still image. Uh, one fun thing about this is that periodically the International Space Station, the ISS, um, broadcasts images from space and hams and, and others uh, really enjoy going out and, uh, and, and tracking them, recording them and, uh, and decoding the images. So this is, this is something that, uh, that it's possible to do uh, with this software. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the introduction to the Cubic SDR, which is the built-in full-function SDR in the uh, Aris uh, Radio Pi kit.